Okay, y'all, welcome back to Yellow, Texas. For our next destination, we are taking a drive to a place I consider to be the best of three worlds. You have Austin, 20 minutes north, San Antonio, 45 minutes south, and the beautiful river that flows right through it. Have you guessed where yet? I'm talking about the booming town of San Marcos, which is also home of my alma mater, Texas State. But this time, we're sending Yellow, Texas team member Ariel to get the latest scoop. This is San Marcos, known for the country's largest outlet mall, historic downtown square, and tons of waterways to float the river. It's a small town with colorful energy, but what you might be surprised by is what else this town has to offer. So hidden around the city of San Marcos are these impressive mermaid statues, which represent the city's heritage and its growing art scene. So let's go explore it. Home to 10 seven-foot-tall mermaid statues, the Aquamaid is the unofficial mascot of San Marcos. So to tell us a little bit more about this unique craze, we met up with Clay Stefano. Okay, so we're standing right in front of this beautiful mermaid. Can you go ahead and give us a history on what mermaids have to do with San Marcos? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know, it's funny, right? Here yeah. in Central Texas. That, that's the whole beauty of it, really, is that, you know, why would we have mermaids in the middle of San Marcos? <laughs> it turns out that mermaids are a big part of the San Marcos culture and lore um, going back to the mid the mid 1950s. The mermaids are part of a culture from Ocarina Springs. There was something called the Aquamaids, and they, they were entertainers and they, um, they sat underwater and they drank Coca-Cola and they, they did things and there were other performers as well, but everybody knew the, the Aquamaids, the mermaids if you will, so it seemed like it made perfect sense to make that the figure we chose um, to use for our public art project. Immerse yourself in the thriving art scene by visiting one of these several colorful murals downtown. So to paint us a better picture, artists Amy and Jessica joined us at the Mark Music Theater. So we were trying to show his, the history of the building through this line of people waiting to get in. Okay, we're calling it the ticket timeline. Oh, so okay. So it's showing from the late 1800s to the current era and the uh, silhouettes of, of local people. So these are actual people that live in San Marcos who pose for these um, silhouettes. Oh. And uh, some of them are random people off the street. All right. Some of them are people that we know. Some of them are famous local oh. politicians. And so okay. <laughs> it's exactly what San Marcos needed, I think. Yeah. And uh, I'm just really happy to be part of it, and I'm, I'm really excited every time there's a new mural or when they um, are talking about the mermaids. Eventually they're going to uh, create a map of all the murals or all the public art in St. Marcus so that people can interact with it. Okay. So I can't wait for that day. In addition to the growing art scene here in San Marcos, it's home to tons of businesses and shops. And well, hey, you know I love to shop. Try on the newest trends with a Texas twist at River Rose Boutique. Oh, do y'all see those? Those are cute. River Rose is not only a clothing boutique, it's also a makeup bar, a shop to buy local bath and body products, as well as home decor. If you're gonna San Marcus like a local, you're gonna have to drink like a local, which brings us to Middleton Brewing, a hill country favorite with a unique spin on the brew pub experience. I think here, not that it's unique to us, but we're one of the most dog friendly businesses that I know around, around town. Um, also, we have 17 taps, and these guys are really good about keeping those rotating all the time. So when people ask us how many beers we brew, it's not 17, that's just what we have to offer at the moment. Uh, but I think that we're pretty unique in just keeping that keeping that tap ball rotating. And kind of like what Clay was saying with the 17 faucets, we really wanted to keep the brew pub mentality and you come in, hang out, drink beer at the source. Um, it's rotating a lot, a lot of variety and um, really kind of give uh, beer lovers the, the brew pub experience. Um, we do distribute, but our focus is here. Open since 2011, this brew pub offers a variety of Belgian, American, and English-style beers, all crafted to perfection. 
That's our Pepperhead IPA. It's an American IPA with jalapenos. Son of a peach. Son of a peach. I love it. And those were actually, we got those from the peach stand right outside. Oh. Fred Fredericksburg peach stand. That's easy rider. Most, most approachable, easiest drinking. That's a daily drinker. That's the one that when we're brewing beer and it's <laughs> 100 slammer. degrees, we're going to have a pint of that yeah. after our shift. We'll go to this one next. This one? So okay. this is our garnet. These yeah, guys so, actually uh, just won a gold medal for it. Um, it's going to have subtle malt notes, a little bit of caramel, but it should have a, a somewhat bitter finish. Thank you so much to Tour San Marcos. I had an awesome time learning about the mermaids and the history of this beautiful city. Saw some really cool shops and had some really great craft beer here at Middleton Brewery. So if you're in the hill country, make sure San Marcos is on your list to visit. Visit the growing art scene in this charming town by visiting TourSanMarcus.com to plan your trip today.